Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Time for another unboxing. What do we have here? Oh, oh yeah, I've covered that. Three guesses. No, no bother. <laughs> We've got black Numenoids, say guys. Now these are the old metal models that have been turned into fine cast. Which have a lot of... There's a lot of debate about these models, and I'll show you why. So, I don't like opening these packets from the front. I usually open them from the back because the front doesn't work as demonstrated in lots of other videos. Right, let's get these open. So this set comes with four black Numenorians, three in different poses and one duplicate. I'm probably making a bit of a meal over this. And like we say here, four bases. So to our duplicate pose is this one. So let's move one of these aside. Let's just pick the best one. Wow, actually. Well, from what I'm seeing so far, these models look very clean. Very little problems I'm seeing. So, let's have a look. So, we all know Black Numenorians really from this. These look the best. These are the bees knees. These are the cavalry. These are the black muggle knights. So, but these came first and it's a very interesting scheme and design that Games Workshop came up with and I think a lot of these were based off the uh, concept designs for the um, for the mouth of Sauron if you go back and look at some of the the books from um, the artwork for the films uh, the, the Return of the King one had a lot of artwork for the mouth of Sauron and some of the helmets really evoke this design so let's have a look at the detail so here you're seeing the helmet obstructing all his vision and with the, the mouth underneath it could be another mouth of Sauron head really so that's a very interesting scheme they have these ridiculous shoulder pads which I'm gonna cut off personally um, they just don't really fit in my opinion um, but lots of armor plates and technically it does seem like something that could be in the Peter Jackson Lord of the Rings world here's the shield and the back let's have a look at some of the cloth a lot of the cloth is very raggedy so it'll fit a lot uh, with the the warriors of the dead have got for the other foot soldiers so like I said we've got two of them and they all they both are actually really well detailed so that's great so far and then the next one actually I'll do this one next is this guy has got a cat kind of looking face very creepy and just that's very interesting what I'm not quite sure I think that's supposed to be like a chainmail kind of thing but it's a weird kind of detail They've got very pointy shoes, but I, I do like the segmented armor. It is quite cool, even if it doesn't wouldn't really work very well. But very nice detail indeed, and the cloth uh, is very well done. And on the back, sorry guys, that's my phone. Um, hope you've all checked yours now. <laughs> but that's a shield, um, very nice again keeps a lot of the same design for the plastic ones so that's a good uh, translation and then you've got this crazy spiky sword Just focus in on that there we go some spikes on the sword there so that's a bit cool a bit crazy and that design is continued on to the next one now this is my favorite of the three personally um, Yet again, it's got the hood design, sort of quite ring wraith ish. So, let's 
So, come on. Lots of plate armor again. You've got all the little leaf kind of plate armor with this main loincloth type thing. Um, I do love the shoulder pads on this, guys. Up there, very nicely segmented armor, which you can see better from behind. Very nice, that is. Uh, yet again, the same sort of shield design, and the cloth is once again superb. And then you've got this cool, weird helmet design, which does look a bit like a bird, but a bit of a parrotish look, which has kind of ruined it for me a bit now. <laughs> no, it hasn't. Uh, but yeah, very interesting indeed. These sort of models are just cr absolutely crazy, very wacky models, uh, but they do work a bit, but not as well as I'm thinking Warriors of the Dead converted up will look. So this has been unboxing uh, Black Numenorium Warriors in Finecast, or Resin, whatever they're calling it now. Um, great set, if you can pick up a few of these, they're always good to spread throughout your Numenorians and uh, it adds a bit of difference and it, it, I suppose they make good captain models as well for the black Numenorians so thanks guys for watching uh, check out my Facebook page uh, like share and subscribe and as always happy hobbying